Hi, I'm Leonie from Spines and Splines. Today I'm going to show you a little project that I've been working on recently, which is my first set of digital brushes for Procreate on the iPad. I mostly made these brushes for myself, but I've also made them for sale, so if you like them, you can buy them either in one big pack of 20 brushes from my website, or in smaller themed packs from my Etsy shop if you only need a few. If you haven't installed Procreate brushes before, it's super, super easy. You just unzip the file that you download, click on the new file on your iPad, and the brushes automatically load into Procreate. You just saw me install then delete one of the smaller Etsy downloads, and then I installed the whole pack of 20 from my website. If you've never made digital art before, I hope you'll still enjoy this video. Before I get to the part where I start showing how all the brushes work, I'm going to be working on a drawing of a pigeon in Procreate. I've made plenty of digital art before in Photoshop and Illustrator with a tablet and a pen, but not that long ago I got myself a second-hand iPad with an Apple Pencil, and I probably should have got one of these much earlier because I've been really enjoying making digital art on it. Using the Apple Pencil and drawing straight onto the screen is really a game changer. If you're new to my videos, you might not know that I used to work in an art shop where we specialised in printmaking materials and paper, so I've got this huge paper collection. One of the things that I decided that I wanted to do almost straight away when I started with Procreate was digitise as much of my giant paper collection as possible so that I could use it in my digital paintings and illustrations. I tossed up between two options, which were either making flat paper files or making seamless repeating brushes, and in the end I decided to go with the brushes because they're much more flexible and they can be used for a lot of different purposes. I'd also like to make these in Photoshop once I figure out how to do it. To make these brushes I scanned a whole bunch of different paper samples at 300 dots per inch so that they printed a high resolution and then I altered the files so that they repeated seamlessly and still looked good when they were applied to the brushes. I really love paper and physical art, and I wanted to represent a wide variety of paper types in the pack. There are so many different types of paper, and they're all good for different things. Because they're made for different kinds of physical art, every paper surface is different. And when it comes to digital art, how the paper acts in real life has absolutely no bearing, but how it looks can have a big impact on the artwork that you make. In the pack you'll find brushes that look like a couple of different types of watercolour paper, some printmaking paper, a variety of Japanese papers, some brushes specifically designed for use with darker colours, and some heavily textured and patterned paper and cardboard. I'm going to start going through all of them in a sec with this bird drawing so that you can see how much the background you draw your image on can impact the art that you make. When I'm using these paper texture brushes for backgrounds, I've found it best to use them on the top layer of my file with a lightly tinted colour and I set the whole layer on the multiply setting. This lets the texture show through on the blank areas and just hints at it in the drawing area. Definitely experiment with different colours and tints on the brushes because every use case will be different and you might come up with something that you really like by doing something a little bit unusual like choosing an unexpected colour or laying multiple paper types on top of one another. As I mentioned just before, some of the paper brushes in the pack have been specifically designed to work well with dark coloured papers. These might not work great if you leave them as the top layer, but they can look super fun if you move the layer to the bottom. Here you can see me doing that, and then I made a new layer between the paper layer and my drawing, and I filled it out with the Procreate oil paint brush set to white. This just helped the image pop out a bit more from the dark coloured paper. While I finish making a few changes to this drawing, it seems like a good time to thank all of you who've joined me on Patreon. Every little bit of support really does help me keep making these videos better. I've got a bunch of different reward levels available there, including some where you get an original digital artwork to download and print every month. 
I also have a bunch of reproduction prints for sale in my Redbubble shop and digital files that you can print at home on Etsy. And all the links will be in the description of this video. Back to the brushes, I'm going to run through the rest of them now so that you can see what's in the pack and some of the different ways that they can be used. But I'll stop talking and just let the music run while I do that. Links for where you can buy the brush packs will be in the description of this video and I really hope that you like them. I've really enjoyed making them and will be making more different types of brushes for Procreate and hopefully for Photoshop in the future, so leave me a comment if you've got any suggestions or requests. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and share it. There are also links in the description for my Patreon, my Facebook, my Instagram and some affiliate links to art stores where you can buy actual real life paper to draw on. Thanks for watching. Cheers.